someday, y'all. We get one of those? <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to. Uh, Supposed to. A day off is just a day to get something else you're supposed to get done last week done, right? That's what I've always heard. I can't ever get caught up. I, I'll never be called up. I'll just manage the chaos and keep going. It's like the more projects get found, so. Well, and I'm the world's worst at creating more projects for myself because I'm like, well, I want to do this. And should really probably try to catch up before I create another project, but that makes way too much sense so yep i just keep adding to myself i guess that's the way it works for me looks like y'all got some new stuff hammer yeah. sets we do have a hammer set that's been real popular the last couple of days uh, just odding in uh, things on that shelf that's been a really new. big show and tell item this week oh, we have a different one that one actually works for the iPhone too. Our other one's more of an Android base, so it don't really work with iPhones. Right. I didn't realize how many people actually um, was so used to Apple. So it's like half my route's Android, half is Apple. So mm -hmm. we got that one on the truck and we've sold two this week already, so. You're either a love Apple guy or a hate Apple guy. There's no in the middle. And it's hard to swap from either one. It is. I know uh, we've been having a little bit of phone trouble, so we went to AT&T. You know, they're doing a trade-up program, and we thought, yeah, we'll do that. Go in, and they're like, oh, we don't have an Android, or they didn't have the S22 that we wanted. It's like, but we can give you the, you know, we got an iPhone. It's like, nah, never mind. Well, you'll like, no, nah, I'm sorry. Man, I love, I, which I mean, I got an Apple computer, and I got an iPad, so you can just hand everything off to whatever device you're in. But that's nice to be able to sit and work on the computer and you get a text, you can answer it on the computer yeah. and transfer stuff back and forth. I guess if I, if I didn't do what I do, I wouldn't like them as much, but man, they're so simple. It seems like everybody's different. Um, I'm just an Android person, I guess, which is good because I've always used the Maco scanners and everything else and that's what they run off of. So, I mean, I guess I'm good in that aspect but I've got a person uh, wanting to buy a Maco scanner and they're not they're not an Android person so I'm having yeah. to help them learn the system and <laughs> to me Android's harder to work and because we tried it when they come out with the S4 yeah back then you know <clears throat> well which I'd I always had the Apple stuff and I get the S4 it seemed like it wanted to lock up and it was always some something going on with it well, and you know, we, we were both guilty of the same thing. We tried it way back when. So you tried an S4, and I think when we first tried an iPhone, it was somewhere around the same time. Yeah. Back when there wasn't that much technology, right? They've all changed so much now. But they do it to themselves. Don't come out with a new one every six months, you know? <laughs> yeah, I can't catch up with what I know now, much less that, so. No kidding. Man, y'all were to have some deep sockets on here, Michael. The sockets, you talking about individual or? Yeah, look at them. Oh yeah. Like y'all need to come out with some that's a little, you know, it's got a little deep where you can reach down somewhere. Reach down in there, right? Yeah. That's a good set right there. Yeah, spark plugs, mm -hmm. that would that would be a really good set. Cut the need for an extension. Yeah. Um, we've all had that problem where our extension needs to be replaced, but we haven't thought about it when the tool guy's there. Has that got the rubber tips or is it magnetic? Probably rubber. Yeah, it's got a plastic sleeve insert, so it actually looks plastic instead of not rubber, which the rubber always used to make me mad. When it pull off, because then stuck I'm on the plug. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there trying to fish it out, and I, uh, I could get mad pretty quick over something like that, especially <laughs> if it was one on the back cylinder or something that you were having to reach around. and Always that could, one in the back <laughs> passenger side where it's right there next to the heater core hoses going in and all that crap. That's it. Uh, which to each their own, right? We do have the, they're supposed to be up here somewhere, unless I've already sold the set. I'm supposed to have some magnetic swivel uh, that come in finally. Man, I got hooked on the magnetic sockets. I got the first set from you, remember the yeah. little short one? I love them little dudes, man. Yeah, they, uh, magnetic's the way to go on sockets. I don't know what I did with that set. I had them right up there. But, yeah, we, uh, 
having a little trouble getting some Sorry, of our socket my, my right microphone now. off. I'm having to get it hung in my camera. <laughs> we uh, having a little trouble getting some of the sockets. So if your dealer's telling you that the swivels are having a little trouble getting in, they're not lying. But That's a good tool right there. Yeah, and and most people will make do with their pocket knife mm -hmm. and don't know how easy it is with one of those. Yep. Um, that's one of those tools that, yeah, you can do it with just a pocket knife or razor blade or however you want to do it. Those just make it so much easier. But I mean, Salt I, and pepper shakers? That's yeah. the first. Yeah, we got to have salt and pepper shakers. That is cool. I like that. There's that magnetic swivel set I was talking about. Yeah. Those are nice. That salt and pepper shaker is pretty cool, man. Got to have Mako everywhere. I've got it on my, uh, in the new living room we built. We bought a fireplace to go underneath the TV. I've got actual Mako glasses up there. Uh, Leslie ain't found them yet. So we'll see how long it stays. I don't know why she'd take them down, but. She's it's probably going to take it down Saturday morning about 11.30 probably. Probably. <laughs> uh, she wouldn't let me hang my, my neon Mako sign in there. She. She likes it, but she it don't go with our theme of the living room, I guess. So that's okay. I like that magnetic or that Matco sign. Mine's burnt, and I just leave it on, you know. Yeah, we uh, that's something neat, something new, I guess. Yeah, that's our promotion shelf that we take stuff out of the flyer and throw up there. So, which that, and then we have we had a. MIG light that was up there. It went on yeah, your MIG welder to help one. you see. Yeah. And That's pretty good. Which we've been getting a lot of requests for um, different like knife stuff, different knives and stuff. So we got a couple different uh, Smith and Wesson knives, some knife sharpeners, and we've been selling the crap out of knives this week. So that's good. Um, Everybody needs a good knife. Yeah. Well, and. Uh, it seems like everybody's got different taste in knives. So when I went to the tool expo and they were there, they had a couple bundles. So I bought both bundles, not realizing that it come in threes. So I got plenty of knives, which they got some cool little um, USB chargers that go in the USB in your, or not USB, I'm sorry. They go in your cigarette lighter and turn it to a USB. Oh yeah. Uh, at the end of it, it's actually a glass breaker. So if you was to um, Get need, yeah, you you got you just reached to your cigarette lighter and grabbed that. You better not show little man how that works. I'm not He'll gonna be trying that thing out. There won't be a piece of glass left in this truck. <laughs> we actually was checking the knives in and stuff, which they're all in boxes and cases. And he was sitting there playing, and I got to hearing him yell, uh, "I need that!" And he was talking about a couple of different knives, and his mama let him know real quick he didn't need it just yet. <laughs> but. Yeah, he, I like uh, it when she posts them videos of him on here playing like he was taking in big sockets like yeah. he was working out with them. That was funny. Man, he's something else. He uh, He's right in the center of it, that's for sure. I have to keep the candy up high because I wouldn't have none to sell yeah. or uh, cookies. So I, th I think every night I've had to take a bag of candy in with them. So it'd be all right. That's good. But I'll no. tell you what's going to be fun is watching him once he gets big enough to start riding me in the summertime oh, and yeah. stuff. And We'll just have to, we'll let him explain tools. That'd there you be go. funny. Uh, he already know, he, if he watches somebody use one, that's what he's gonna do with it. So I <laughs> uh, just gotta keep him watching the right way to use stuff. So if you ever use a ratchet for a hammer, he'll sell it as a hammer. Uh, that's right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, have to watch because we've all used tools wrong at some point, but. Yep. Um, we do have the pocket. Uh, I know some people were asking if we still had these. We do still have the, Pocket pry bars. Right. Uh, we just got our next shipment of those in. So if you've been waiting on them, ask your dealer. Does yours have the magnets on them? This one does not. Uh, these are just the pry bar style. We still got the pocket screwdrivers. These are just different bends, and mm -hmm. I do like the handles. But which, yeah, those are some heavy duty ones there. Yeah. Uh, the magnets on the end of the screwdrivers have become 50-50 as well. We've got some people that we started buying the ones without the magnets just so that we can 
They say they lose them too easy when they have the oh, magnets. Oh, yeah, it's easy to let them stick to something under the truck and slide out from under it, and there goes your magnet. But in the same instance, I can tell you a lot of times that I would use that magnet just as much as I used a screwdriver. So yep. Just to reach down in there and pick up that nut and bolt, <laughs> yeah. screw, something, you know. Which I know a lot of people carry the, the pocket magnets and stuff, and that's great when it's long reach, but uh, there's a lot of times I'd just take that screwdriver and, you know, it's, I didn't need something real long, didn't need something, so each their own they've all got different uses and stuff like that but that's right what Anything we do have the blue gloves man? too we showed them uh while we were at expo didn't even know they were gonna have a black set and they do have the black set uh it's a grip style so it has the maco logo oh yeah and they do that's grip like football gloves that's right they do grip well uh we've had people on here all week trying to indian burn somebody with a pair so it seems like that's the first thing they think of to see if they grew up. So yeah. uh, it gets pretty fun on here sometimes. I imagine. Uh, between it and the fender covers, you can have a full blown war war that's going it. on in here. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> you got that break it, you buy it policy. That's on it. There? And you don't, you just throw that out there while they're playing, you know, you break it, you buy it. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's right. And let them go. Hope that they break something good. Right. And, there uh, you go. Boy. All right, guys, hopefully y'all had a fun hangout with us on the Matco truck. We got a ton of junk I got to get done today. It's always something. Like always, hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.